From high ROI to higher engagement rates than social media platforms, email marketing is one of the best ways to generate interest in what you're selling or what you're promoting. But it's not enough to be inspired. You need a powerful email newsletter to back that up. Angel Marie here, creator educator over at ConvertKit, here to talk you through the actionable steps to take in order to create a newsletter of your very own. Let's dive in. The whole point of creating an email newsletter is for a couple of reasons. Number one, audience engagement. Website visitors aren't enough to reach the engagement goals that you need or desire for your business, but email will create that engaging experience that you're looking for. Number two, content distribution. Sure, we can distribute content on social media, brochures, blog posts. So why distribute content via email? Why create a newsletter at all? The reason why is because with email newsletters, you can gauge the success of your campaigns by tracking email open rates and click rates in order to understand what works best for your business. Number three, it creates a sense of community. When someone signs up for your newsletter, they feel more plugged into an online community and therefore they feel more supported. And number four, it creates a personal connection between you and your audience. Ending up in someone's inbox to give them personalized offers, messages, or even telling stories is such a great way to connect with your audience and build trust. These are just some of the reasons as to why email newsletters can benefit creators just like you. But in order to receive those benefits, the actual newsletter itself needs to be written. Let me show you exactly how you can create your very own newsletter in ConvertKit. Step one is to decide how you wanna gather emails onto your newsletter. All you're gonna do is head up here to the landing pages and forms tab, click on create new, and then choose if you wanna build a form or a landing page to gather those subscribers. For today's video example, we'll choose landing page, and then we're gonna just choose the template that we would like. You can even filter it by category if you're wanting to choose a specific template to promote your very own creative newsletter. From there, you'll click choose, and then you'll be redirected to customize your very own landing page. You can edit out the headline here, and then you can also add additional context and content in order to persuade people to sign up for your email list. You'll also notice a plus button that appears on the left-hand side where you can add in plenty of other creative components to your landing page, including a bulleted list, a testimonial, and even your newsletter feed just to show people the previous newsletter emails that you have sent out. If you would like to have this enabled on your landing pages, all you're gonna do is head to the broadcast tab, click on a previously sent newsletter, and then from there, make sure that you toggle the display to be on enable for newsletter. Make sure that it's toggled on display right there. You can even upload a specific image to portray on the landing page that you are currently creating. From there, when you're done designing and editing your very own landing page, step number two is to offer a freebie on this landing page to encourage people to take action and to sign up even further. To do that, you're just gonna head up here to settings, incentive, and upload whatever freebie you'd give to the people that subscribe to your landing page. So just click on download, choose a file, and upload the freebie that you would be offering at that point in time. If it's not a printable or some sort of downloadable content, you could highlight URL and copy and paste any sort of YouTube training or site that you would want to send people to the minute that they subscribe to your landing page. From there, head up here to edit email contents. This incentive email is gonna be the very first email that subscribers get from you as soon as they sign up on this landing page. So you wanna make sure that the content of this email matches what it was that you were offering. And then of course, you can even customize this specific email by saying whatever it is that you'd like. Feel free to introduce yourself, your community, how you wanna help them. And then this button right here is connected to the freebie or the incentive that you uploaded. So go ahead and delete the confirm your subscription wording that's automatically in here. And instead say something like, get your freebie right here. You'll also notice that same plus button that pops up on the left-hand side where you can add in more creative components to this email. When you're all done, you'll click save, save, 
And when you're ready to share this landing page to get subscribers on your email list, you're just gonna save and publish your creative works, head to share, and this is the link that you're gonna copy and paste to share with uh, whoever, whenever, on all of the platforms in order to get people on your email list. Step number three, now that you have people on your email list, you're gonna wanna create a newsletter template so that you can start writing consistent emails to your audience. All you're gonna do is head up here to the drop down menu and click on email templates. From there, you'll be redirected to create a brand new template. And then just go ahead and choose the template that you would prefer. When you choose one, you're gonna be redirected to where you can customize the accent color, background color, paragraph style, or even the button style that you prefer. I even highly recommend giving this template a name so that you can easily go ahead and find it so that you know exactly what to use when you're ready to start sending those emails. When you're done, just go ahead and click save. Step number four, it's writing time. Now is the time to write to your very niche audience. So when you're ready to craft an email, just hit this broadcast button, and then you're gonna filter who you want this broadcast to be sent to. So click on new broadcast, filter who you prefer this broadcast to go out to, and then you're gonna click next step. From there, you're gonna craft your incredible, beautiful email writing through the email template that we previously created and you are good to go. Now this brings us to step number five, which is to write your call to action. At the end of every email should include some sort of CTA or call to action, meaning what action do you want your subscribers to take after they've read your email? What do you want them to do next? Give them those actionable tips. So be sure to include that. And then when you're ready to send your email, all you're gonna do is click save, next step, and you can send your email newsletter right away, or you can schedule it to automatically go out on a specific day, at a specific time, and even by the minute as well. And that is how you craft your very own email newsletter in ConvertKit. If you wanna follow these same steps, then sign up for a free account of ConvertKit down below in order to take your newsletters to that very next level. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next creator education video.